हेल्थ हो जाओ डू यू सी द ब्लैक बेर इज वेरी गुड और नॉट यस हो जाओ वी कैन सी इट्स रीडेबल राइट व्हाट्स गोइंग ऑन यस इट्स रीडेबल हो जाओ ओके सो देन वी कैन स्टार्ट आफ्टर 1 मिनट ऑलराइट हो जाओ सो हाउ वाज योर न्यू ईयर uh sir we are just at home <laughs> you know these diseases covid 19 uh it's not enjoyable uh, you, you know the after the my lectures how to handle with covid 19 yes sir sir one more yes, thing uh, i want to share with you uh, okay. i'm giving lecture in near east university uh, okay. and uh, a hosting and con- uh, three courses i am giving there hosting and convey machine as well Uh, the yesterday i took my exam so i use your same method what we applied the group uh, yeah yeah so I, then then uh, the now uh, let's just start and then afterwards we can easily discuss everything okay all right uh, yeah. the, the the first of all uh, uh, the, the happy new year for everybody uh, and uh, i wish uh, everybody uh, very good year very successful years um, and uh, i hope uh, this year will be much better than uh, uh, next year uh, last year i guess okay, okay. so then uh, let's just stop what we did uh, as it's it's uh, good readable uh, can you check it yes yeah. madam is readable uh, uh, you know in 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 german the people say the good is nicht gut genug für uns which means uh, good is not good enough for us everything uh, you have to try everything must be perfect although it's impossible anyway so you have to therefore uh, have it like to more or less everything will be uh, not good then more than good okay so you you can read what's going on right on the blackboard sir, so then i will just repeat a, one, uh, a sir, couple of things in order you, to make it. can you uh... turn off your uh, room light maybe there is uh, much light yeah, maybe maybe let us just try let us try how about this how about this yes okay ho jao is better than yes. this yes how about this no is okay ho jao that's fine that's fine yes ho jao Or this is better. Okay, so okay. Okay, ho jam. All is well. Okay, now now the. Uh, okay, let's go. Uh, I will just try a couple of things, you know, to make a bridge. the uh, uh, the uh, the next lectures and what we learned in, in the uh, last uh, couple of lectures we uh, we try to uh, transfer or transport this information which is the, as a chemical reaction uh, uh, to the uh, ordinary differential equations although you know that uh, i prefer the heterogeneous population but when we are speaking on uh, the population a uh, homogeneous then usually we are dealing with ODE i will not write the ODE what we did had because we did several times so we transport this uh, translated uh, this uh, scheme uh, to the equation and later uh, it was uh, since we have it 1 2 3 4 4 you see for uh, the uh, species the people saying this species in the if you have a, such a chemical reaction to so the the each uh, each component is called the species we have the four species and corresponding to we have the four equation for ODE and uh, that's uh, the, the number of species uh, for ODE is called the, the number of dimension so that means we have the uh, dimension four because we have one two three four species and for those Uh, I, I told you several times and showed that how translate these uh, chemical species to the uh, uh, differential equation. Uh, uh, I would like to um, especially emphasize that this kind of the uh, scheme and translate these to the uh, equation or these and uh, study stability 
or will be uh, the one of the the main questions in the uh, the the, the, the uh, main exam. So that so that the, therefore you have to just uh, look on it uh, very carefully because that's why I uh, I uh, concentrated myself a couple of times during the lecture of these kind of things. But by the way, this could not be only the chemical reactions. It could be some biological pathway. So therefore, uh, it could be uh, some kind of the uh, uh, species or some kind of the neuron and some kind of the, uh, the, uh, the movement of the cells or interaction of the cells. And then, so then uh, uh, this is the, just was the one of the uh, example of the chemical reaction to translate uh, this to the equation of the is. And then, uh, so we already discussed that this described in the enzyme dynamics. So this, uh, this chemical reactions and uh, describe uh, the enzyme dynamics. So this is the enzyme. Uh, we already def uh, define what is the enzyme. Uh, then in, in the enzyme dynamics S, uh, if you remember, S is called substrate. Uh, E0 was the, the enzyme. And uh, this was E1 was the the enzyme substrate uh, complex, and P was the product. So the enzyme was in the molecule, but sometimes using the the uh, more or less the science terminology, the scientific terminology. So the E zero was a protein. So the and uh, uh, the. Uh, and what is, uh, what is the, the main problem? Sometimes in the exam, maybe I will ask the, the, the following question, which is, I already told it. What is the definition of the enzyme? The, the enzyme is a protein or the molecule, if you want, which uh, catalyzes the reaction. That means they make the reaction very fast without using itself during the reaction. You see that therefore, if you have a, in the beginning uh, the enzyme, and the, in the end of the day, in the end of the reaction, you have the, the same. So the catalyze. So this is a molecule which catalyzes the reaction, and yeah, and without using uh, uh, itself during the reaction. So so the, this is the. You have the, a lot of uh, the catalyze, a, a lot of the the proteins which are catalyze the reaction, but they, they are using. Itself, so that they are in the end of the day, you will not see that uh, this uh, this uh, from the beginning and the end. That if you have the the molecule which speed of the reaction, that not all catalyze is a uh, enzyme. Enzyme those catal catalyst uh, catal catalytic so like catalyze uh, which uh, make the reaction very fast. Speed of the reaction. The uh, speed uh, usually they are right, k1, k minus one. So then this is your speed of the reaction, and without using uh, itself during the reaction. Yeah, how many amount of the molecule do you, you had in the uh, uh, beginning of the reaction, which speed the uh, reaction, and uh, then in the end of the day you will obtain that. And S is a substrate. Please, this is the very crucial. Because uh, I, uh, I am speaking not only for mathematician lectures, I am speaking for the uh, interdisciplinary. Among of the, the, my lectures, there are a lot of the people could be from the chemistry, from the biology, could be uh, from the mechanics, uh, engineering. So they are, uh, they are uh, usually, so they, they, are, uh, they have some habit to do with such a kind of reaction from the control here. And uh, that's the point. And the E0 in, in our case, enzyme, uh, and that S is a substrate. So you see, so they are coming together. That means they are meeting. Uh, if you remember the uh, predatory prey uh, models, then we had a, this was the, the rabbits, uh, and it was a wolf. And when they are meeting each other, we, we, we had uh, the, such a kind of uh, the, the combination. So the uh, S is a substrate. A substrate is again is a non molecule on which act enzyme. So uh, acts that means they are meeting each other and then they are meeting each other at the young boy and young girl. So they are meeting each other and somebody from their friends say that yeah, so she's uh, beautiful, she's uh, clever. 
and that this is the dose are giving this information, they could be considered as an enzyme because it, it only uh, help them to communicate with each other. And uh, yeah, you know, this is the, uh, in, 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 in Oriental world, this is a very clever uh, doing, uh, and uh, that's, that's very good. And, and so that's, that's the point. And the, the very uh, uh, deep feature, so the, uh, the, this reaction enzyme dynamics, uh, so then uh, if you remember, if you look at your notes, so it was uh, the equation from S dot, so the derivative of uh, uh, the S dt, derivative E0 dt, derivative E1 in dt, and derivative dt of dt. And then these reactions, this, the, 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 the feature of enzyme dynamics, it was that in spite of, in spite of that it was the four dimensional, so the four uh, equation for all these, so we using some conservation of uh, the quantities which is uh, behind of this, uh, yeah, uh, this uh, chemical reaction. So we reduce the four equation to the this. So, so this is, uh, uh, you see, the, this is a very crucial in a, in a dynamical system, in, uh, in analysis, in numerical simulation, so then uh, in a control theory. So that instead of uh, to deal with the four uh, the uh, unknowns, you are you will have to deal with two unknowns, and then this you, if you know these two unknowns, which obey this the all these, then you can just uh, extract from S and E one is zero and P. So this is the core reduction. So this is the uh, not all four dimensional system, not all four dimensional system can be reduced to this because the one of the feature was from the four you can uh, reduce to two because any uh, reduction of dimension this is a big game so the any dimension from four to three is even in the, the, the best but you are happy that in this reaction due to this uh, namely this the uh, chemical or molecular uh, genetics if you want molecular uh, biology and uh, the properties. So this is the chemical reaction, and then they are they can reduce to the these two to and two systems. And now we will come uh, the why is uh, so important to deal with these two and two. You, you see, uh, instead of four, we have to we are dealing with two, and then uh, we this is not only the enzyme dynamics described with two times two systems. Now we have S and E1. If you remember, we discussed with uh, uh, the plate uh, to prey model, which consists of two components, two components, the wolf and the rabbit. We had the, the biofilm modeling, which was constrained the, the, uh, the nutrients and the biomass. Uh, it was also the, the two times two uh, systems. And uh, if you are dealing with in, in winter of exams, and you uh, wrote very good, so that it could be some competition. So that in predator prey model, the, uh, they are uh, uh, making competition against each other. Uh, so that uh, the, uh, so which is called the negative feedback. So the, the, the more rabbits, the less will be a very good environment for the uh, rabbits. Right. If the, the, there is no rabbit, it's not a good for uh, for wolves. So this is the uh, for wolf rabbit models, which is two times two. If you remember, so this is the negative feedback. And uh, but um, you, you have seen also that uh, not only this, and in midterm exams you consider it, uh, and you did very good things considering the event. The uh, they are not against each other; they are competing. Uh, with the, uh, the the same sources, so they are not each, each, eating each other like uh, sheep, sheep and uh, rabbits, but they are uh, competing with each other. Uh, they, uh, who will be eat more grass, for example? So then, uh, then uh, you see, uh, and this was the, uh, the the philosophy, and uh, you see that uh, at least we are uh, trying to. Uh, speak a lot of it in uh, two times two systems. 
And uh, even more, in, in one of the, my last lectures, I considered the COVID-19 model. And, and in the, usually COVID-19 model consists of yeah, four components, uh, which is called SEIR model. And S means, uh, S means uh, the uh, suspected, E uh, means exposed, I means infected, R means recovered. You see, the four. But uh, nevertheless, if you remember, I tried to, uh, and I, I, I presented for you, so the, this is the, uh, the uh, COVID-19 model in terms of predator prey models, and it was also the two time two. Now you can ask, one might ask, why the, the professor tried the, a lot of things uh, to reduce two time two system. What is the feature of the two time of two system? Why two dimensional? Uh, what is dimensional played important role? Why not three? Why not four? Why not uh, attack directly this system? So this is a quite natural question. So you see a lot of things which is, has a uh, really meaning, the biofilm modeling and the COVID-19 and uh, the, uh, the, uh, the enzyme molecular dynamics and uh, the um, CIR, the suspect and infected recovered as far as concerned to COVID. So the, a lot of uh, the disease modeling. So then uh, the first of all, the, what I did uh, so far, uh, everything, uh, excluding in my first two lectures, everything was in ODE, which means we are dealing with homogeneous population, which is not good, right? Because the life is more uh, interesting and capture non uh, uh, heterogeneous, uh, non homogeneous, in other words, heterogeneous population. So the, the disease in Istanbul and the, the, the speed of the reaction and the, sp the speed of infection of the Istanbul is completely different than speed uh, of the, the other, the small cities. But nevertheless, uh, we, the, the, the homogeneous, the audience means that we are considering the same. And uh, also, if you look at uh, this uh, equation, main equation, we consider it, uh, for example, this was the, if you remember, uh, this was the prey predatory, uh, predatory prey model where N was uh, prey like rabbits, T was the predator like the wolves, and then we see, so then we, we consider this, and, we will, uh, and then I say that this is the, the where the A, B, C, D are constant, so that they are constant coefficients, and then we, we consider this equation. So it was the N is the, the rabbits, and T is the wolf, the predatory prey models. And then uh, we, we say that, so this is a very interesting, and I say that this is a very bad model uh, in, in the sense of the describing many things. And uh, the, on, on the other hand, it was the profoundly important because uh, nevertheless, uh, we are taking a lot of uh, the, the restrictions uh, you see then A, B, C, D are, uh, are the positive numbers, so the coefficients, uh, they are constants. And, and then uh, you see, uh, you can easily say that, uh, well, uh, this is the two simplification because uh, usually this kind of the coefficients uh, depends on the season. Disease, if you would like to consider the, um, the, the COVID-19 model, which we, I, uh, sub, uh, I, uh, I presented your two lectures before, it was uh, in a sense of the predatory prey model and where the co uh, coefficients uh, were also constant. Uh, but we know that disease uh, modeling and the disease depends on the season. In other words, this, uh, the disease depends on time, right? And these coefficients, Coefficients depend on time, and uh, and then uh, it was uh, the uh, situation which we are, are uh, taking the nevertheless simplification and trying to understand even so simple uh, things. And then, as soon as we uh, we try to understand this, we reduce. Uh, so then, uh, 
you see that a lot of things we reduce for two dimensions. So the two, uh, uh, two bodies. And uh, again, for uh, interesting enough, now this is the, the general philosophy. And uh, uh, you have to always, if you are trying to in the future to make the uh, work in science, uh, to make your PhD and maybe as we are doing in Germany also in habilitation, which means the second high, highest level after that you can receive the position of professors, uh, which is uh, very unusual for, for example, for UK, for USA, Canada, so then uh, or in Turkey as well, I guess. You don't have rehabilitation, right? So you have the only PhD, and after that, you are receiving. Uh, so you are not doing the second highest. Uh, you know. And uh, anyway, so that this is the you know, the uh, the general uh, things, and then uh, the two dimension. The the why is I again? The, the, uh, if you are working, if you would like to work, you have to always think that first of all, why it's so dimension. We are living, uh, for example, in three dimension. A time, the coordinates, three spatial coordinate, X, Y, Z, if you want, and time, this is four. So we are living in four dimensional spatial temporal dimension. So then in, in the equation, uh, in the ODEs, we are neglecting, as you see, the spatial coordinate. But uh, at least uh, we are, uh, uh, we, in order to say something, we have to start from the simple. And the dimension, to, the dimension two, is a very very special. And uh, then because in two dimensional, so this is a uh, very crucial information. I would like to uh, also give. Um, I am not only teaching to you. I am not only uh, giving uh, the if the, uh, the people chemistry and if the people the uh, others uh, from the other faculties are participated. So I am giving also the information for them how to deal with the model if they are not even the mathematician. And, and uh, this is uh, the main goal that to bring, and I was really very happy that so, the, uh, so two groups uh, did their job in the midterm exam, midterm exam, not uh, relying to each other, and that the, the approach for, to the same problem was uh, uh, different. So this was uh, a very good uh, sign. And then uh, the, the group uh, team spirit, and then uh, to uh, interchange ideas. And two dimension two is an area very special because uh, there are several tools which are applicable, which you can use. I will show today uh, some of them, which you can use in two dimension, you, which you cannot use in three and more dimensions. So the, in, in two dimensions, you can use some uh, the, the mm, geom uh, geometry, some the uh, analytics uh, tools, so-called the embedding theorem, and and uh, and then which is uh, you cannot use this at least for the three dimension. And so far, this is the one of the the, uh, the fantastic question which is uh, unsolved. And with many uh, other colleagues, I solved this for two dimension. Uh, from dynamic system viewpoint, but the, for three dimension, it remains open. One million dollar problem, which is uh, the called the uh, Navier Stokes, and uh, uh, Two times to system. 
And then uh, it was in a Navier-Stokes equation, uh, which is formulated for three dimension uh, from Navier and Stokes. And uh, then. And it, was, uh -huh. it is more easy to solve. That's why it is important, right? Am I wrong? Uh, what do you say uh, again, Esmanol? Uh, Hocam, uh, you are talking about two by uh, two dimensional uh, systems. Yes, but usually, yes. Uh, now I will show you why, uh, from which reason two, two, time, two dimensional is more uh, uh, tractable. So that. Uh, uh, I, I mean that um, it is more easy to solve these systems to two, two dimensional not systems. Not. Not necessarily. I will, I will come to this question. So this uh, okay. So uh, this you have another reason, right? Yeah, yeah, no, no. There is a, another reason. Right? And I will show you today. I, I am going to touch this, and uh, then um, this will uh, relate to. Now you will see this will relate to the stability. Let's see. I try some more. So the first Navier Stokes equation. Navier Stokes equation. So this was this equation is partial differential equation, and then uh, this is formulated for three D, three dimensional, then special, and uh, in 1945, I would like to say in 1945, it was for the existence. If you have some, if you have equations, you have you have to always try to prove existence and unities. You see? So that uh, if, you, if you have some model, if you are writing some equation, for example, if you, are, if you, have, a, uh, if you, if you have this uh, the chemical reaction, and if you write the equation for uh, uh, is the S of dt and uh, d0, of the t and uh, the e1 the t and then the dp of the t dp of the t so then uh, if you have the right equations and then you are just uh, you are dealing with uh, the uh, situation so then uh, you, you have some model the, the first questions uh, arise whether this equation this system has a solution existence of solution this is a, a crucial. And the second, and the coming to the unities. So this is, uh, in, in mathematics, is called the well posedness. And this is the also physicists uh, use, because you can, if, if, uh, as a, the modeling person, you are deriving the equation of this based on some uh, the assumptions. Huh? Yeah. But you are looking this uh, this equation. You are saying that I am not considering arbitrary such a reaction. I am considering uh, this, for example, uh, what will be two be a two? Uh, please, the, this will be also uh, this could arise also in 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 the in, in exams. So I will I will write not this the same equation. It could be some coefficient. How these these coefficients uh, or or these, for example. 2s plus c is zero has an impact to the equation. So then, anyway, so then if you have a, some the, uh, the process, chemical, biological, uh, engineering process, if you write the equations, uh, you have to just the first of all you have you you should know that this equation has a solution or not. If this equation has no solution, there is a uh, nothing to deal uh, uh, with uh, to do with uh, this equation. You cannot uh, speak on stability on something which you don't know uh, it, it doesn't exist. So therefore, the, the existence of the uh, is very important. The, and for study from dynamical system viewpoint, or for say the for study of the uniqueness, is is uh, is very important uh, for the uh, from you have to have also the the uniqueness uh, of the solution because uh, without uniqueness. You can you cannot uh, control the chemical or biological process because uh, if you are interested in some process, this uh, this process should be 
And for example, if this process should be for a given parameters as a unique solution, otherwise uh, uh, you will not uh, make appropriate uh, mathematical analysis. Okay, so the existence and unity. And for, as far as concerned, the Navier-Stokes equation, this is describing the fluid, uh, uh, hyper hyperdynamical equation, uh, the fluid dynamics, so the how the, in, in, uh, roughly speaking, how the, the fluid, how the fluid is flow. And then, and then uh, for 1945, it was written uh, this equation, which is called Navier-Stokes equation, so this is partial differential equation, and in, uh, for 3D, 90, uh, in 1945, existence of the Navier stocks was uh, proved. You can see 1945. But uniqueness, in order to make the other kind of analysis, uh, which is very important, existence is, is the very important. But uniqueness is much more important in order to handle some of uh, the other properties of solution. And then uniqueness was open, 1945. And it, it was uh, proved by Edward Hart, the greatest mathematician. And, uh, but it was considered in 3D. And 2D, in 2D equation, for dimension 2, in, in 1972, you see that uh, uh, it was proved for two dimension. It was proved both existence and uniqueness. You see, the effect of dimension for 3D, so far, this is probably uniqueness of this, uh, uniqueness of the solution, some uh, people say uniqueness of big solution, are open still. But for two dimension, uh, in 1972, it was proved the existence and uniqueness, it was proved by Olga Alexander de Ladezhenska, who I uh, met several times, but there's just there. She was a Soviet mathematician, beautiful woman, uh, who obtained beautiful results. So the, and the, uh, but the dimension played a very important role. It, uh, she used some tools which you cannot use in 3D. And this equation for 3D, you cannot, uh, you cannot uh, reduce to 2D. You see, we have here four, but we, we reduced to two D because we had some interesting property of the uh, uh, model. But we, as far as concerned, the three D, yes, uh, so for Navier stocks, which is formulated in three dimension, uh, three dimension, it cannot be reduced to two D because uh, for two D we already know the uh, the you see the effect of dimension three D the uniqueness question is open. And now this is a one billion dollar problem. So the, uh, which is remain from the 20th century to the, uh, which is the people called the millennium problem. And then uh, the uniqueness of uh, the Navier-Stokes equation for 3D existing for 1945. You see, there already 75 years we don't have the, uh, the unique. So this is the one of the important for you. Uh, the message that uh, we uh, we have to uh, you have to uh, see that the the dimension play a very important role. And now we, I would like to uh, come to the, the stability. And I would like to discuss with you equilibria uh, and stability, linear stability, and uh, and the, the, the role of of all of this. And then you will see that. Uh, it's more now to your questions. So then, uh, for two-dimensional system, we can uh, say a lot of things uh, which we cannot say for 3D. Yeah, this is the, as far as concerned the stability. Now I will show you what, what I am uh, thinking by that. Now, mm, uh, running of time, so the, uh, 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 as we could be informed that in after five minutes, if if you will, um, if this is the zone will be stop. We will make it a five minutes. Uh, the, 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 the meeting the, uh, in ten minutes it will be break, and then I will come after five minutes again. So we have uh, still ten minutes to discuss for that. Now, uh, now, uh, in order to speak on stability, uh, in order to speak uh, on equilibria and stability of equilibria, 
uh, uh, we we have to just try. Mm, uh, uh, I will start with some uh, 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 things which uh, uh, you, you should know. That. So let's consider the equation the uh, viability. So that uh, the viability is f of y, and then at the y at the point zero. Why is it? Usually, so this is the uh, ordinary differential equation, so which I am saying uh, dimension one. But we have one equation. So we have one equation, and the, uh, this is given by zero. So this is called initial, initial value problems. This is called the initial value problems because uh, this uh, we know that uh, the, the process. Uh, we know the, the what in the beginning. We know that the how disease, for example, uh, in the uh, in, uh, in, in last December, as far as concerned, the COVID. Although the, uh, the many times this is unknown, but for mathematical idealization, we are thinking that this is why zero is given, why zero is given, is given, and the and the function f is given. So, if you are speaking the ODE, so this is the uh, very simple one, uh, dimensional ODE. Huh? So, for two-dimensional, if you would like to write uh, two-dimensional, so we will have the, uh, the, the, instead of one y, we will have one y of t and y2 of t. This is the, instead of one equation, now we have a two equation, and instead of the one given function, we will have a two given function. That's at least the analog of this initial value problem. For the dimensional, we will be like this. B, y1, So this is, I am, I am writing this. Is it readable on the blackboard? Uh, can you write them a little bit bigger, sir? Yes, it's hard. I, of course, of course, I can write. So for n is equal to, so for n is equal to, for n is equal to, we will have now two equations. The y one the t is equal f one. For the, for the mathematician, those are uh, familiar with this. Uh, it will be, uh, uh, it will be anyway, it will be not so boring. And now the y of b t will be f of two, one y of t, y of t. So now instead of the one equation, we have a two equation, and instead of the one initial data, now we will have two initial data, one, uh, one by zero, I will write one by zero, and y two, zero, it will be y two. So we have, uh, uh, for two dimension, for all these, we have uh, two unknown functions. Now we have two unknown functions, in i one of t, y, y one of t, so we have a two unknown functions, and uh, uh, so we are giving, we are considering uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, the two unknown functions, and uh, here. So for one, the what was? It was the one unknown functions y of t. So it was the one unknown function y of t, and then the, and uh, here the. Uh, uh, if the function is given and initial data is given, we are looking at the, uh, the unknown function y. Uh, I promised that, uh, so, uh, uh, and then now we have uh, the, the concept in order to uh, start with the, so the I will, uh, I will start with uh, the uh, ordinary differential equations. 
and uh, for me, uh, you have to uh, know a couple of things from your the previous study. So this is the for the mathematician and for the people from engineering and uh, the, uh, the the people from fundamental science. They are more or less familiar for the uh, the mental people or for the uh, for example biologists. Uh, those have not. Uh, too much experience in mathematics or in particular in ordinary differential equations uh, is uh, you can just easily uh, see that you have some evolution and you would like to know that uh, how the, the, the process uh, change when you are changing parameters so that uh, for those are not mathematicians for those are not uh, in, uh, such a knowledge of uh, the uh, an equation or the differential equations and uh, for those who are familiar with this kind of uh, the chemical process or biological process, you can, you can just see that we are dealing with some uh, the, with the, the processes. So we would like to understand the process. I would like to say that, uh, predict this process, uh, predict that uh, if we have some uh, input, and then we would like to know what will be the output. So this is the equation that we are interested in, and to say that what they have all, and how all this process uh, will depend yeah. on this K1, K1, so-called so reaction parameter. So for those who are not, uh, they, they, you would like to think that when I am writing the equation, so I am, uh, the, in the end of the day, I'm interested how this, the, the, your experiment yeah. on your, yeah, the, uh, biological or biomedical, bio, uh, physical process depends on the parameter which, uh, which is uh, the power which is uh, in the system. Now, uh, for uh, in order to understand these uh, the, uh, biomedical, uh, biological processes, we are as we, uh, I have already shown you, so we just uh, wrote these little Actually, for biofilm models, uh, I told you that we had the, the real picture in order to catch the, the experimental uh, patterns. We have to deal with these PDs. But uh, I will come to PDs in the next lecture, but because I would like to know uh, the, how you are reacting to all the keys. So then, uh, anyway, in order to understand as uh, the, the doctors or the uh, biologists and that the process or in in order to understand this process, I predict some of the output from the, uh, the people from fundamental science. The first of all, they are writing the equation. And uh, so the, the, uh, the equations uh, now they are the considering body. That means we have the uh, n one dimensional, means we have the only one unknown. So we, we are looking for unknown function y of t, which satisfy this condition. So then, uh, uh, for the, for the mathematician or for the, the, the people who start the, the analysis, this is a very simple question. And, uh, but it's, uh, from the dynamical system viewpoint, it's not. Uh, and now uh, I'm speaking for biologists and uh, for uh, these people, because uh, the biologists should be happy that the mathematician even cannot solve this if such a body is, you see, they, they cannot do this in elementary fashion. Uh, what, I, uh, what, uh, I am seeing, what I am saying, I will explain uh, uh, more. So then, uh, you can solve, in, so the mathematician can prove under some condition on F, uh, because if you have this equation, you have the, the, the y theorem and f theorem. And the, uh, the, the, the equation arises uh, when this equation has a solution, and uh, whether this solution is unique. So you can answer to this question. Now I will show you how. The mathematician can solve this. If you can solve the, the two dimension, you can solve the three, and so on. For all, I'm speaking now all these, not in, uh, in the sense of my stops. So I'm speaking all these. It could be thousand equations all these. Y1, Y2, Y3, and so on, and so on. So mathematicians, even for, uh, they know how to solve this. So the mathematician can prove that existence of solution under some assumption on f uh, for 1d, under some assumption f1, f2 on the 2d, and then under some assumption of f1, f2, f3, f4, for uh, fourth dimension, and so on. The mathematician can solve it. At least mathematician can say that this equation has a solution. 
but for experimentalists, for the physicists, and for uh, uh, biomedical people, uh, for biomedical people, this doesn't give any information at all. They are actually not interested in existence of solution and in the universe. They can, they don't care. So they know that if they are doing the experiment, they have seen some output, right? And uh, in, in this sense, so they are not interested if you are speaking with the biomedical people, so they, they don't care. So if you translate it, uh, if you are a mathematician or the, the, uh, by, uh, the physicist, so you, you can, uh, or mechanics or engineering even, so you can solve this issue. But, uh, but you cannot complete the uh, answer to this, uh, to this question which is coming from the experimentalist because uh, even for 1D, you cannot solve this. There are the, the ODEs, it's not too much, but there are ODEs which you cannot uh, uh, present exact solution. You can say exist, uh, existence of solution, you can provide. But how it looks like to prove it, to have an exact solution so, uh, in elementary function, uh, uh, it, 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 you cannot uh, compute any integral. So that this equation uh, for 1D, this is an actual equivalent to, to compute some integral, and then you cannot say. Okay. So now I, 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 I like this, I don't know, it's such a, everything, such a beautiful. Uh, and uh, therefore, uh, then, uh, uh, so the, therefore, in, uh, in the, uh, in the uh, 20th century, so one of the, the, the best mathematicians uh, in the mankind, the André Poincaré, uh, I have uh, I have in nice and there was the university where we studied. Uh, this is the, uh, the almost on the border. He was born almost on the border of Germany. Uh, and uh, uh, some people say Nice, and uh, so then he he uh, tried to understand uh, the uh, uh, celestial mechanics problems and the three uh, uh, body problems, and then he realized that uh, for uh, for the people from experiments for for some processes, uh, it's uh, uh, he knew that it, you know the each equation you can solve uh, all these if you know the in elementary fashion. And then I say that well, uh, it's not necessary to solve equation. You can be without uh, it's, it's not necessary to find the exact solution, which is in the most cases impossible. It, it, it would be much reasonable to to uh, say looking to equation, looking to the given function, if to say something on qualitative behavior, not quantitative, but qualitative behavior, uh, looking this function to say that how the solution could be. Uh, or the, the properties of the solution. Because for these people, existence and of the uniqueness, uh, so they don't care. So the experimentalists say they don't care. So they bring their experiment, they know that, so they, they, they have some equipment, and they have seen that uh, they, they have some substrate, and they, uh, they, they, they are seeing the, the product. They would like to know how the, the speed of the, the reaction between of them to obtain uh, such a, a product in a in, in reasonable, reasonable manner. But we are trying to transport, uh, transform this uh, the, the experimental evidence to equation and the, the analyzing this equation to say much more for them. And therefore, you have, uh, you have, we are considering the ODEs, and uh, if you are lucky, you can solve this is in elementary effect. So this is a, a, a very nice. For ODEs, it's more or less. But if you are PDEs, this is almost impossible to have to have the exact solution. In very, very special case, for partial differential equations or systems, you can have the exact solution. I'm speaking on nonlinear, uh, of course, equation because we have such a kind of the interaction there. Yeah. Yeah, minor interaction or the multi, uh, 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 multi couples. So then, uh, therefore, uh, but anyway, in order to start this, 
from mathematical viewpoint, you, you are transforming, you are tra uh, translating this the, uh, experimental evidence to the equation. And now, in order to start to say uh, analyzing and to say something for the, the people from experiments, so you have to uh, be sure that this equation has a solution, right? So that if you don't have the solution, you cannot say anything. So you have the equation which has no solution and nobody uh, uh, take care. You can do a lot of numerics, but it has nothing to do with the reality. A lot of numerics. If the equation has no solution, then uh, with some people doing that, they are doing the numerics for the equation which has no uh, the solution. Uh, and sometimes I will come uh, during my lectures to very, very important things. Uh, so this is the will be the core of the, all my lectures uh, if you have some biological, biomedical processes. From the beginning, you can say that the equation which you derive, or the equation which derive your teacher, the, some uh, the famous uh, scientists in the world, they are correct or not. So in the end of the, my lectures, I will provide you with criteria uh, for biomedical processes. You, you will look the equation before to start existence and unities, you will say that this equation is adequate for a real biological process or not. Therefore, and let me just uh, to start with uh, uh, this uh, kind of six. Again, if you translate it, if you have uh, some biological processes, then you are translated to the equation, and then you have to uh, be sure that this equation has a solution. So that the, the, the strategy, uh, the first of all, uh, translate, translate into ODEs. Of course, uh, it will be much better if the partial definition is But since we are considering ODEs, we don't care. And the second, having this uh, translation, having this uh, translation, and uh, you have to be sure that uh, this, uh, this equation which you obtain, as we uh, remember that we translate this to the that has the solution, existence of solution. And unities of solution. And the, if you are uh, trying to uh, deal with this, and then, then having existence and unity, now after that, after that, you can start. But here, even one thing which is, uh, you will learn in the, in, the, in the next lecture, which is much more crucial than this. So, but uh, the, I, this, is, this is my secret weapon, because you have to see that uh, the, like, like a child, you are starting to uh, just moving, and then uh, the moving and moving, and then you are sometimes coming back to, to uh, just uh, refresh your memory. So that the biomedical processes, physical processes, mechanical doesn't matter. So you are transforming this, uh, translating to the equation, and if after, after you trans translate it to equation, you have to be sure that the equation which you obtain uh, have uh, this uh, existence uh, uh, for this equation or system, we have an uh, existing solution and also units. And after that, uh, if you want, you have to uh, start, uh, start with the stability of the stability of the process. And why is stability is important? Because uh, this uh, uh, this, in the people in experiment, dealing with only uh, 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 stability, stable patterns. Unstable patterns in experiment, you will not see. So the experiment, uh, that's why important, they have it robust. So what they are doing, so they are, uh, they are doing their experiment, and so that the experiment which you have, uh, have uh, some uh, kind of stability. The, the, the patterns they observe, they are robust. In mathematical sense, means that if you change the parameter of the system, uh, one of the parameters could be initial data, for example, 
or to the uh, equation which F depends or F one and two in depends uh, depends what we have if you remember in the pre-computer model, right? And then uh, this is a three uh, three uh, uh, component which we need. Mm, uh, so after the understanding, so this is the uh, this all, all these uh, things are very important for us. Now let just uh, to. To, uh, I would like to uh, show you that even for one the case, this is not so innocent point. Even for one the case, even if you consider such a simple equation, uh, such a simple equation, the y of the t, I don't know, can you see this? The y of the t. Can you read? This is the yeah, one, 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 one. And why the point zero is zero? Of course, we are assuming y is non negative, huh? but we are looking for certain. So then let, let, let us consider this equation. So it's a very simple equation, right? So then, then you can solve this equation. And then what could be better? One the equation is, uh, with the separable variable. The, this equation has the exact solution. Why of you can just easily write what is the solution? Simple. I, I, this is uh, for you. And then you can see that this is exact solution. So this is uh, this is the you can easily exact solution. And then you see that uh, this equation has a solution local or global, uh, at this moment I am not uh, speaking on this. And nevertheless, for this equation, or for this initial data, has a two solution. So that means this equation, even such a simple equation for 1D, where f of y, f of y is in, in this case is 1 y over 2, or if you want a square. So such a simple equation, if you are taking initial data is zero, has two different solutions. That means uh, from uh, the uh, for a given initial data is zero, from uh, in other words, from the, if this is zero, they emanate two kinds of solution. One is identical is zero, the one is identical is zero, y of y one of t. So the, this equation has a two solution. Y1 of t is identical to zero, and y of t is equal to this, this exact solution, which you, you can easily find. So this is the uh, very simple. So you have to just this put here, put here, and then integrate, and you will obtain uh, the uh, solution, and with the sum of the additional constant parameter, and this constant parameter can be identified by this initial condition. You see, even for such a simple 1D equation, and even having the exact solution, does not provide uniqueness. So existence, yes. And uniqueness. If you don't have uniqueness, then it's not reasonable to make uh, other steps. Without the uniqueness, it's, it's not reasonable to speak of stability. And therefore, arise the very nature of questions. So if you have uh, the equation for 1D, and if you have the equation for 2D, or uh, if you have, uh, as I wrote here, for N, the 4D is, so this is the uh, this equation, N times N, 4D is, N times N, 4D is. You see, that's U1, UN, this is the unknown function, u1 t, u n t. And then we have uh, the initial data, u1 0, u n 0. And then, uh, uh, so, uh, 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 arise equations that if you have, this is a modular when, when n is equal, n is equal 1, we obtain this. When n is equal 2, we have a 
as a, in a pre predatory model and in our the old model which i say two dimensional and here so that we have uh, the uh, two unknown uh, so we are looking for uh, y1 of t and y of, uh, y2 of t function we are looking for two unknown function with the following initial data u1 uh, t and y2 of t so, so this is unknown function this in the initial data they are uh, given one y zero y to zero so this is a given this is a given and this function are given and we are uh, looking for solution y of t by two we are uh, looking the pair we satisfy this equation with this initial data and they arise the equations uh, in order to make some analysis why these are important if you will do this analysis you can come back to say experimental people much more without this you cannot say existence of solution nothing say to the, these people in experiment uniqueness of the solution also nothing say to these people so because they know that so they do the experiment, they don't care. And if you would like to help them, you are translating this process to the equation, and after that, you are trying to find some qualitative behavior. So that uh, something before the stability, I will just write the, uh, uh, you want the stability of patterns, and, and I will add here to one more, the, the long time dynamics, long time, let me just say it there. Long time dynamics. So you have to say something qualitatively. Because as I say, uh, we will not have here if you will if you will have here instead of this function, uh, for example, we have power y square instead of because this is f, f of y, this is given, let's just say that this function is uh, e of y square. And then please try to find the exact solution. And uh, uh, you will be fine. So there are uh, really for even for one of the or the e, uh, which uh, cannot solve in elementary fashion, which means you cannot uh, present the exact solution. But and for these people, uh, <laughs> so this exact solution, if you have, you can say because exact solution will contain. So that's why exactly you can see the, the parameters, and you can change these parameters. And then, uh, then seeing that how this parameter is changing, the solution is changing, that means how the output uh, will uh, change, and the parameters will contain the k1, k minus 1, k2. If you have an exact solution, then you will see all these parameters in this solution. But you don't have, in most cases, for all these, even for all these, exact solution. So for but such a kind of uh, uh, thing, maybe for polynomial, you can, right? But if you have the polynomial or square or cubic and so on. But if you have the other functions, and it will be very difficult to solve. And but uh, and then this realized already in 19th century by Henri Poincaré, and he said that well, it's not necessary. It's not necessarily to uh, uh, to uh, have exact uh, uh, presentation of the solution, exact, uh, because it's impossible in general. And then he, he replaced the, the equation is nevertheless looking the equation f, give what you have, and to extract from the equation, so f is given, y0 is given, and f and y0 are not arbitrary. So there are, there are the, the so they are related with some some they are uh, restricted so the f and y zero is not arbitrary like uh, you uh, if you are the soccer player so you cannot put the, the 12 or the 30 people the inside of the team during the game uh, i mean uh, from the uh, on the pitch right mm -hmm. therefore so there is some restriction and then uh, if f and y zero are given and they are uh, obey this kind of the equation and so from there, the having information of F, you can see much more on why I will show you this, which is 
with the five digit behavior, but you can see the much more on Y. And then without solving and without uh, having the exact solution, you can say much more on F, depending on the parameters, which include the system like here. And then uh, to see how much will do be product. Right? If you uh, I don't uh, if you if you are working in the chemical industry, for example, they have a similar equation. If you are interested, uh, if you are dealing with the laboratory, if you are working in the laboratory, and you have some the initial substrate, like in our S, and then uh, you obtain a very important product for uh, industry. So this you are doing in, a, in, the, in the lab, right? And now, now you, uh, and then uh, during the lab, you have a, such the information, the K1, so you have information on, on this parameter because the people doing the experiment. So people doing the experiment, so they, they have all the information on this parameter. And then they obtain this uh, very important product. This uh, the product could be very important for industry, could be very important for military, it could be important for uh, the, the biological uh, purposes and for a good, so to, to help the people, or bad for the biological weapons. So that so that the, you you can uh, so they are doing experiments obtaining this. Uh, this. Uh, but as this was in the lab. Now you would like to go from this lab to the big industry, to the big industry, to the world, right? And, and now in order to go to the world, you, you, you have to, to write the equation and then uh, having this equation to, to say that uh, how you can uh, make the optimal, uh, big, uh, making this bigger, this is uh, smaller, or the, to making the both of them bigger, this makes it smaller, and then to, to come to back saying the industry people that this your uh, important product depends uh, not so heavily on K2 and not so heavily from K minus one, but this is K1 is important, or vice versa, maybe K2. So that this, this kind of information, uh, the, the experimentals cannot do it because in order to make this, they must make the, a lot of uh, experiment. Each experiment is con conjugated with a lot of money. It's not optimal. What is the optimal? To find the clever mathematician or physicist or the people. To ask them so that they have this process. And then the mathematician will write a, a, a corresponding equation uh, where the, this equation will include this parameter. And then uh, they will, uh, the, first of all, they prove that this, this equation has a meaning. So the existence and the and then they will start the stability of the world. After having existence, after existence and uniqueness, you can go to the second step. And then, uh, then you can see how the, this is the, the process is stable. You can come back. You see, in this way. Therefore, the first equation which arises that if you have an uh, equation uh, like in this part two, when the situation has a, a, a unit existence of the unit uh, of solution. Uh, how uh, this uh, the first uh, equation can be obtained. So this is easy. I am not going to uh, in the detail because the uh, for uh, mathematicians uh, they they should know. For the, the people from the medicine and biology, they don't care. So they, 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 they they will expect what we uh, how we will obtain information and. So that that's, we have now, let's consider for uh, n uh, time n, uh, n dimensional audience, which means we have n unknown and n uh, uh, given functions, and then n given initial data. So, so we know the uh, capital F1, capital Fn are given. And we know also the given the n, uh, n given numbers. And now uh, the, the uh, we are uh, so assume this. This equation, which I did not by start to, this equation uh, uh, is described uh, the some process of the biomedical process. We have seen that it is uh, for enzyme dynamics. I wrote for for your last two lectures equation, and then so we have a this equation, and then uh, here f1, fn, they, they are mostly nonlinear because they have some interaction. You see, here in this equation we have an interaction. That means. Yeah, at least uh, at least the, the quadratic or, or the maximum uh, 
polynomial uh, or the exponential, which include u1 time u n. Not only u1, u2, it could be u1, u2 square, u n, the power 10. So, for example, such a fine box. So that we have uh, some, uh, all the is uh, with initial data. So we are considering initial, initial value uh, problem. Let me start to, uh, which we are calling initial value problem. And then, for these initial value problems, uh, so we have, uh, we would like to know the existence and unity. Which, again, for, uh, so as soon as we translated this or the, the other similar, uh, or <coughs> the previous model, the uh, wolf rabbits or uh, sheep and rabbits, uh, or the, uh, the COVID-19, uh, the model to the equation, so the first of all, we have to know that uh, uh, this, the, 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 the equation which we obtain is the hazard solution in this second. And this is the uh, it's well known fact now in the mathematics, which was uh, done by Picard, mm, and uh, which means that the uh, ODEs, ODEs, at least as a locals in time solution, local means that uh, the, this, this is, and what I wrote here, so this is the, I guess, uh, so this is, uh, this is the values of, uh, values of uh, unknown uh, our uh, function. So uh, at the time of t is equal to in, initial, initial, that's why it's called initial value problem, because, do you see that? Yok hocam biz göremiyorum birini. Yeah, okay, now I will write uh, about. So that if you have a this equation, no, but you, you see this equation, do you want to you, 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 you see that? Uh, and then, so that, uh, so we have a this equation, and this equation, uh, we added the uh, initial data. So that means you went of u1 uh, of t, u n of t, which we are looking for. So there are, there are we know information about this, at the initial time. So pardon, the, hojam, uh, pardon Hojam, can you write in big letter? Big letter, big letter. It's diffi I can, diffi I can difficult to oh, read. I can write, don't worry. I can. Chok sa hojam. My pleasure. In Japanese, uh, if the people asking, they are saying, Yoroshiku uh, onegashimas, which means please do that. Uh, this meeting will end in ten minutes. After uh, six okay. minutes, Ojo. Okay. So this is disappear. This is disappear. So do you see that? Pardon, Ojem. Okay, yes. Yeah. yeah. Now you see that. Okay, so now do you see the blackboard right now. Evet, Ojem. Okay, now I am writing for for you. So that this equation you have, u one of t. This is the end equation. This is readable as Yes, this is this one. Now, uh, this equation uh, imposed by uh, the, the following uh, initial data, u1 of t, un of t. So this is the our unknown function. So this is the solution of this equation. So we know this information on in the beginning. So that means uh, we are looking for solution uh, function u1 of t, u n t which uh, obey this equation and then in the initial the time uh, this uh, we know is given is given we know that uh, uh, we know the information on u1 of the t is equal to zero u n of the t is equal to zero we know how these chemicals or how these the uh, molecules uh, uh, collected the information on this the number of the molecules if you want in the beginning, or the experiments begin. 
we know that we have the 100 uh, molecules of the calcium, the 20 molecules for the other chemical. From the beginning, we are putting to our experiment this number of the molecules. And then they are starting to uh, interact with each other in the end of coming to this. This is uh, described by equation with the initial data is given. So this is the uh, life uh, here, we call it 1D. Now we are considering ND. And then, so this, this equation, start two, with this given initial data is solvable, uniquely solvable, when the function F1, Fn, are Lipschitz functions. So, so then uh, if uh, the, the functions are Lipschitz, if the functions are Lipschitz, if now, uh, as I said, in order to deal with the, uh, the, the processes, uh, the biochemical processes, and we have we have the process we are translating this to the equation, translated to the into all these, and then uh, we have to have the existence and uniqueness of solution. Having this equation with the given initial data, we are saying that this is the equation start to with uh, 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 the this this initial data is given has a unique solution. Yeah, this is if 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 F1, U1, Un, so this is the given function, and Fn, U1, Un, are Lipschitz, Lipschitz function. So, this, uh, are you familiar with Lipschitz function, mathematician, in my uh, lectures? Do you know what is the Lipschitz function? Yes, Hojan. No, no, that's wonder, not only you, others. Muhammad. Yo, Muhammad. Yo, uh, no, Hojan. Okay, so now I would, I, would, I would like to give you a definition of the Lipschitz function. So that, so if you have a Lipschitz function, if you have an equation, if you have a Lipschitz function, then you, you can you can already uh, be happy to deal with this process because if you have if uh, if you translated this equation to the ODEs, and the second the second must be the existence of uniqueness solution, and then if you translated this to ODEs, then uh, if the, the function f1, f1 are Lipschitz, uh, then, uh, then this, this equation or the, this uh, biochemical processes or biomedical process has a unique solution, exists solution and unique. Lipschitz means the following. Sir, time is remaining less than one minute, Hojam. Yeah. So we will continue in next period, Hojam. Yes. Yeah. Five minutes we will come in, don't worry. Because I would like to uh, finish today uh, what I am planning. So now the definition. Are you ready? Have it, Ojam. The definition. A given function, a given real function, a given uh, real function. So, so that we have to assume given function f. Y1, Y n. The function of n value. So assume this is given. And so this could be like, for example, the y1 square plus y2, y3 plus yn, or the, some other. So the, this, this function is given that this you know the form, y2, y3, or y2 power n. So this is the, uh, this could be arbitrary from the beginning. That means this, we have some real function. That means this function has a, a real value. For example, it could be 
uh, even a linear function. It could be a little like. So the beautiful function which the, the most of yours uh, will be happy to deal with, it will be uh, such a kind of function y1 plus y2 plus y for example. Or it could be like in uh, in, a, in a pre tributary model, y1 plus uh, uh, y1 plus alpha y1 y2. So the interaction without uh, the, the first, without this uh, for n. So only uh, if you have uh, f1, n is equal to 2, you will have f, uh, y1 y2. No, that's a, such a kind of function. With respect to y1, it will be like this, and, and there's some interaction. So, so the given real function, so, the, oh, so this is the arbitrary given function, is called is called Lipschitz if for any two one you can for any given two for any given the two vectors because the function depends on n variable for any given two values, we are putting now f the values f y1 y n. So we are putting the value of this minus we are considering the since this is a, a real function, that means this the function act from R n to the uh, real uh, values. That means this is the real values, the real number. So the f is a given real function, means the f uh, act from Rn, so it depends on the component, from Rn to R. So that if you have uh, y1, yn, they are the, <laughs> so they are the real number. So you have the, the vector which is, the, and then you have from the vector, so because this is the the element is the vector y1, yn. So the f uh, acts from y1, yn to r, to the sum. So y1 is a real number, alpha is a real number, y1 is a real number, y2 is a real number. If you multiply two real numbers, to be real. And then in the end of the, this, f acts from the vectors to the real number. Yeah, for example, in this way, which is uh, more or less usual for the uh, pre predetermined Right? And then we are saying to the given function f, not necessarily in this form, the arbitrary. The, if the given function f, real function, is Lipschitz if f y1, if you are taking two values and then taking the absolute values, so that this, uh, the, this, this is less or equal, so the difference between of them, less or equal, some number l, a real number, then y1 minus z1 plus y1 minus z. So this is the, the general, the general form, uh, general definition. So the given function is called the Lipschitz if the for any y1 for any two vectors, we are, we are taking difference. That means uh, difference of the uh, image is a uh, less or uh, equal the, the uh, difference between uh, between the uh, variables. Now I will I will show you with a very good example. You will you have to feel that because this is a very crucial because uh, this is the ODEs which is the sound which mimics sound of the real the biomedical process. And we would like to know this uh, the uniqueness of the, this equation of, has an existence of uniqueness of solution in order to start with the, deal with the biologist. So that you have to have uh, to deal with that, that the equation which you are translated should have existence and uniqueness of solution. And the, the theorem, the one of the famous theorem, say that if the f1, fn, the given function 
is a Lipschitz function, which is then you have an existence and uh, unity distribution. That means you have existence and unity distribution. The first step already done. And what is then, uh, because the sum of yours uh, didn't know what is the Lipschitz uh, function, I am giving that. A given function f is called the Lipschitz. If you are taking the function is given, therefore you can uh, evaluate this function at the values y1, yn, and then the other, other values, two different values. And then the difference of these uh, values must be controlled by the distance between all uh, the variables. So that means the, uh, the difference between all this uh, function of these two values is approximately, and this is less than the difference between uh, the uh, y1 minus z1, yn minus z1. So this is the definition for, uh, for, the, uh, if for the one function, if you have the one equation, then it will be for, for one variable, for one variable, this will be the following. Yeah, if we have the only uh, one, if it depends on the y, if they have the, the only one functions, one variables, f is y, and we have the f r from r to r. So if uh, the given function is called the Lipschitz, if f y, so or arbitrary to y, and z now from r. I'm speaking the, for n is equal to 1, n is equal to 1, f, y, minus f, and z, so we are getting two different points, must be less than the sum, L sum constant, y minus z. This is absolute value. You know what is the absolute value. Yeah. So the difference. So then, uh, so, uh, the general theorem says that if the receive given function f is a uh, Lipschitz, means that, Lipschitz means that, then the equation dy of dt is equal to f of y okay. and y at the point zero is y zero. So that means yeah, we have equation for one dimension. This, the function f is given and y zero is given. If f is a Lipschitz, which means that, then the equation, so this equation, if f is a Lipschitz function, that means for arbitrary point, so then uh, uh, distance at the different point is controlled by distance of the variables, then this is the then this equation as existence and uniqueness. Now, now this is the uh, questions uh, and a good example for you to understand. You see, this is the general theorem says that if you have the ODE, even I'm writing for 1D, you have a one equation in the initial data, and if there is a Lipschitz, you have a unique solution. Now let's look at this equation. Let's look at this equation. You see on the blackboard this equation? Yes, Hojam, we can see. Uh, Hojam, uh, can you please clarify me again? Uh, you write it existence, and the one you said uniqueness are the. Uh, uh, how can I. So, okay. Uniqueness. So, it's mean uh, uniqueness or uniqueness. Can you. Uniqueness, you have, a, the, you have the only one solution which satisfies this, this assumption. Only one. You see, if if you look this equation, the y of dt is equal to square root of y, y at the point zero is equal to zero, then this equation has a two solutions. 
this equation has a two solution. That means this is, we, uh, we don't have uniqueness. Uniqueness means here for a given initial data, you have only one solution. And this equation, we have seen the solution we satisfy at the point zero and equal zero as a two, two solution. Y of t, which you compute easily, and that other solution is identically zero. Because identically zero satisfies this assumption, and so the derivative of zero is zero, the square root of the zero is zero. That means that this is the, this is the one solution of this equation, other the solution. Uh, you can obtain uh, with the integrated, which is not uh, uh, zero. So that means this equation, this equation has a solution, and here f of y is equal square root of y, right? Because I am considering the y of the is equal f of y, and y at the point zero is y zero. That means this function is not Lipschitz, because if it will be Lipschitz. If it will be Lipschitz, then uh, then uh, this equation should have unique solution, and then this is and then you have to prove you have to prove that now the the function f of y you have to prove that now at home the function f of y is square root of y doesn't satisfy this assumption. Because again, so there is a general thing. If you have an equation, the y of the is equal to f of y, and y at the point zero is y zero, that means this function is given, and y zero is given, so this is given, and that if f is a Lipschitz, which means f of y minus f of z is less than L y minus z, so for arbitrary y and z, then, 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 then you can, uh, uh, we can guarantee existence and uniqueness of solution from the general theory. Now, uh, uh, now you are considering the equation the y of the square root of y, and then this that means f of y in, uh, in for for this in this case f of y is square root of y. So now we are considering the case when y and z is their class because the square root one has a meaning only uh, the uh, here. Under the square uh, root, you have the non negative function because we are dealing with the real solution. So then, then uh, um, we have seen that for this concrete equation, we have a two solution. That means this cannot be, this function which is given for this equation cannot be a Lipschitz because if it, it will be Lipschitz, then we know that from the general theorem that the solutions should have the unique solution. In other words, you have to show. In other words, you have to show that you have to show that you have to show that. So this is the at home. Uh, so then, y of y minus y of z. What is that? This is this will be f at the point y minus f at the point z for this function. So this is our function. And if you are taking the y at the point, you are taking y, so you will obtain this, and minus f of z. Now you are putting instead of y z, you obtain this. Now you have to show that you cannot find the L, the absolute value of this, will be less or equal L y minus. You have to show that. Uh, this for arbitrarily y and z are no, no negative because this uh, the square root has a meaning. So you, you should show that this function, square root of this, of y, is not Lipschitz. In other words, you have to, uh, if it will be Lipschitz, it must be fy minus f of z. In this concrete case, it will be square root of y minus square root of z. And then, if it will be Lipschitz, it will be less or equal, there is some L. And then L, the absolute value y minus L. But uh, I am saying that this is not Lipschitz. That means uh, that uh, this is not true. We have to show that this, this inequality cannot be true. 
or arbitrary y and z is non negative So by the way, these kind of equations will appear in the final exam. That I will give you an equation. I'm saying that whether this equation uh, has a solution. For example, I will uh, give uh, the similar what the the paper of this model. So we have a very simple uh, form of that, and you have to show that. Uh, so this is where uh, is the why uh, this has a solution or not, right? And now, uh, so uh, this is the for uh, for the one D case. And now, uh, as I said, if you have an N equation, an equation with a given initial data, if F the given function. So that if you have ordinary differential equations, the system, that means uh, from the my lecture's viewpoint and from the, the life sciences viewpoint, that means this equation, this equation with some initial data, you know that initial data, how many people is infected, for example. You have the initial information of the process and which, this, which the, the process of this equation. You translated the, the biomedical processes or this is to the uh, audience. Now, in order to make something uh, usable for the, the people from an experiment or for the doctors, for the society, you have to analyze this equation because you have to prove all of these things. Having, uh, having only these things, you can come back saying that how the, the disease process or the, uh, the, the, the product for the industry, uh, how heavily depends on this parameter because the, your analysis gives you uh, sometimes information that from the having the hundred parameters only two or three is important. So the others will not give too big, uh, too, 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 uh, too the uh, big impact for that. For example, if you would like to, if you are interested in uh, to uh, the disease, the COVID, uh, and then. Uh, in the COVID-19 case, so if you would like to understand all these processes, you have to put into account the, for example, the location. You have to, now we are saying, okay, we forget notation because it's very rough assumption that uh, the, 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 the disease, the, the speed of disease and interaction uh, uh, infection rate doesn't depend on the location, the Istanbul, the disease propagated the same uh, speed as in the some uh, village uh, in, in Turkey. So this is a, the very rough assumption, which is not really general. I think this, but you are you are put, you are now considering. Uh, you you would like to uh, you have uh, the equation suspected, exposed, infected, and recovered. And now you are saying that well, it, I would like to add something more. So dependence on age, right? So you are adding now to this four equation, the age component. And now the, you are uh, writing information, you are receiving the data from the health community and the World uh, Health Organization that statistically it showed that the effect of the disease of COVID to the young people is too less. And for the, the people from after 65 is very high. So they have some statistics. Now you can prove this for uh, the putting this uh, the parameter age A, say the age, uh, we are denoting the parameter of ages by A. And then you can put this uh, age as also the variable. You, you will have suspected, uh, exposed, infected, age, and recover. Now instead of four, you have a five. And then you are writing equation for all these five. And then they have some interaction. <clears throat> and then you can just uh, make an analysis of this and coming back to the, the World Health Organization or the, uh, the Health Organization. They're saying that, look, the, our old people is much stronger than old people in Italy, for example. Why? Because you are having the information from your health community. And, and it could be that uh, in many places in Turkey, the, the climate is much better. In many places, is, is the ecology is better. So that you see the, such a kind of the people, such a kind of information 
uh, we don't have in the World Health Organization because they are trying to homogenize at least to make the first to to uh, to make some uh, the wall to the uh, the disease propagating. And uh, again, uh, adding these parameters that means you are translating the the, the, the process to the disk, and then you have to just after translation to uh, first you have to consider existence and unity. So this is a crucial, and which is not always the case, as I have seen, I've showed. You see, that's the, if you have such a kind of this in a square root, so the, this equation has not a unique solution. But you have to, you have to have uniqueness because uh, you cannot. Uh, that otherwise it will be the trajectories will be uh, cross each other, and you you will not uh, give the uh, crucial information. And the unit is, is, is a good uh, in the sense that the giving the, the initial parameter, you can provide that the, the, the disease in Turkey depends on the, the, the mentality of the Turkish people. So this is a very crucial. For example, I am saying that this information, just my uh, hypothesis that the the, the people in Turkey is much more uh, uh, stronger against the COVID than other uh, countries. So this, this I can, I love Turkey, I, I can say that. I, I agree with my, for example, nation, you have to. And then uh, this is your hypothesis could be, so this hypothesis cannot be, uh, 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 cannot be uh, justified by the Turkish health minister. They can make a, they can make a statistic. They can see the, the, the how many people. So it will it will take times. Half years they have to, uh, or one year, see, maybe more. They have to have the statistical information. But we can do mathematically without debating this. Just putting this as a parameter to my equation, and then uh, to make analyze. So the the World Health Organization or the Health Minister of Turkish cannot make experiments on human, but we can make experiments in our equation. So this is the degree of freedom, and this is the beauty of the science, and the beauty of the mathematical model, because uh, you can easily add uh, this information. And uh, again, the, the, as, I, uh, as I already see, that if you have uh, the equations, we had the n time uh, n ODEs, and could be one million, it could be two, or it could be three. And then, uh, uh, so then uh, this equation, any equation which we are handling in, so uh, they are related to the some processes, biomedical processes. And then, if you would like to come the back a feed, uh, feedback to this equation, to the, the process, we have to follow this. First of all, translate into all these or PDs to prove that the governed equation of the, the process has a existence of solution and uniqueness of solution. And as a matter of fact, so that these uh, two things absolutely inadequate equation for the experimental biologists. They don't care. So they need uh, some information how these, uh, these processes, for example, depends on this parameter. And they can do that with experiment, but it will take time. It's, it's conjugated with a lot of money because you have to determine this each experiment, it's very important experiment conjugated with the money. And therefore, if you go to the industry and they're asking the, the, the value of this parameter, so they will never give you. So because this, the behind of this information on this uh, parameter, there is a lot of money. So they, they need a lot of experiments for that. And uh, therefore, there exists so-called the uh, economy uh, uh, espionage. So that means uh, the, the people are trying to obtain uh, this, this information on the, this, the parameters. And uh, the, uh, according to nuclear weapon or the, uh, so the, the Soviet uh, empire, uh, due to economy espionage, they received from the open game of the nuclear weapons, uh, so that because the this uh, 
these parameters, if you are dealing with COVID, so they due to be the high, the high mutation, so they, they change very rapidly. So then uh, in, in your equation, you cannot control them. You see, and, and therefore, uh, we will come to this uh, in, the, in the next lecture. So I will start with the, the Poincaré ideas, how to, without solving uh, ODEs, to, uh, to, uh, you could have much more information without solving the equation, which is more adequate for this philosophy, because for them, so they don't take care. So they, they even know, that doesn't know, experimentalists, what is the uh, ODEs or what is the, the parameters and what is the derivative. Some of the experimentalists, they even they didn't know what is the derivative of the function. So they don't care. And then, uh, but he, if you would like to help you for them, you have to go uh, about this. Uh, but as Manur knows, and some of yours knows that, that uh, uh, even the much important of that, it is the one things. This is the first, this is the second, and the third. It will be the plus, the much uh, more information in the, than this. It is the something which I will come in the end of the, uh, my talk, because uh, I came to this question on, uh, over the 20 years ago, and I saw that these questions, uh, which uh, this is secret information, and uh, I think in the positive sense, I will come to this. Uh, I saw that the mathematical community knows that. So then, uh, so, uh, and then uh, I was really positive, surprised that the, uh, the, uh, even the very, very high quality mathematician, they didn't know that. But this information was uh, very useful for translating uh, these uh, the biomedical processes. Again, so then uh, in, the, in the next lecture, I will touch the, uh, the existence and units. I said that you need only derivatives. And you have to just show that why this uh, function is, uh, is not derivative. I am giving you him. This kind of the function is called Herder. Of the uh, uh, function with exponent one over two. Then uh, uh, again, if here will be the y of dt is equal to y, not this. F of y is equal to y will be ellipses. You see, y uh, you can write y as the power one. But here you have the, the power one over two. So that this is function is a Hölder function with exponent one over two. Hölder function with exponent one is called the Lipschitz function. So that you have to just, uh, but uh, I guess, it's not, do you know these Hölder functions? Hojam, oh, I heard it, but uh, I don't know very well. Yeah, so that's bad. You have to know because you are doing good, you have a good paper. Please, you have to, uh, 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 read and then maybe you will be useful in the final exam for your group because uh, this kind of the question look f for when f of y is equal y is a Lipschitz because the f y minus f of z will be y minus z right if f y is equal y that's it then f y minus f of z it will be y minus z y minus z is less or equal y minus z in this case a is equal y so that we are saying that the function, given function is ellipsis, if there exists some L, if there exists some L, or any Y, Z, F, Y minus F of Z is less equal L, Y minus Z. But the function, the function F of Y, the function F of Y is equal Y, L is equal Y. So then uh, please uh, read and then uh, and also the participants should uh, read uh, about this and uh, and and uh, then the next lectures so that for example the people in the hearing this in in, in in my lectures in the university of toronto or the the waterloo or the caltech and everywhere and in, in princeton or in NYU. so they are uh, so i am giving uh, in the end of lectures so what will be have, what we will have in the next lectures? So that that therefore some of yours should um, just look. That please look what is the Hölder functions. So it's 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 a very simple analysis. So this is the first semester. What is the Lipschitz functions? And what is the uh, ODEs? 
And then we will uh, consider the equilibrium and the, uh, the matrix and also the eigenvalues. Please uh, just, uh, if you will have a time to look on this, because in my lecture sitting the, the also the here in person one uh, expert inspector here. So then, uh, so if, if you would like to have in future to join. So that this is very important on the stability of the patterns. Okay, thank you very much. See you next week. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you, John. Thank you, Hoda. See you next bye week. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Here is some pictures from the lectures notes during the lectures. Please have a look. Thanks for this guy who sent us. Next Let's this one. Okay. It's finished. What is ordinary differential equation or DES? Please, you can have a look from this website. As the professor said. Today discussion is well replaced function. Please have a look and I will attach this file.
please have a look as well this website as well you can get the information Novier Stoke Equation Here is some information for Navier-Stokes Equation in Fluid Mechanics. According to Britannica, Navier-Stokes Equation in Fluid Mechanics, a partial differential equation that describes the flow of incompressible fluids. Novier Stoke Equation Navier Stoke equation Navier Stoke equation two dimension fluid mechanics that is the equations This one is property, nonlinear turbulence, and this one is the applicability. Parallel flow, radical flow. Conviction. So uh, I will attach as well this link in the description. Please you can have a look. So this is the information what the professor says he will talk Lipitz function and uh, uh, Novier Stoke equation this one is the 2D and let me check 3D now. The Navier Stoke equation are used extensively in video games in order to model a widely variety of natural phenomena. Okay this one is 3D, 3 dimensions. Let me see Cartesian equation, cylindrical, spherical coordinates. Let's see step by step. Okay, Cartesian coordinate and this is cylindrical coordinate equations. Now we will see spherical coordinate system. Actually these uh, equations from fluid mechanics course in the faculty of engineering department of mechanical side. Now we stock equation two dimension and three dimension. What are ordinary differential equation? What is Lipschitz function? Lipschitz function. 